So I have been on record and I've been heavily criticized for saying that I personally do not like the artwork on MetaZoo. I think the artwork in Flesh and Blood is perfectly fine. I think it is, is it for me? No, but can I see how people enjoy it? Yes. Some of the artwork in MetaZoo, I question. And they're not really Pokemon. They're not really creative in that way because Pokemon are based on Pokemons. They didn't exist before. The MetaZoo is based on crypto creatures like, you know, Bigfoot and the Mothman. And so there's some comparison there because I've seen other, you know, pretty crazy pitch artwork of the Mothman. And obviously Bigfoot is that classic picture of him in the forest, right? Lost this monster. Again, these are animals because they're very popular, right? So it's not like they came up with Bigfoot or the pedigree of Bigfoot or the storytelling of Bigfoot. Or, or Mothman, right? I saw a Mothman documentary on Amazon Prime. It was pretty good for an Amazon Prime documentary. But there, there's art, there's other artwork I've looked at before of Mothman, including an Amazon Prime documentary, which I think, wow, that's a really good artwork. And then when I look at the MetaZoo of Mothman, I say, wow, huh. So I think what was most offensive about Gary V. Friends uh, was a lot of the people didn't actually know these V friends exist and they're NFTs and they sell for a lot of money. These V friends have made Gary Vanderchuk a lot of money. And they've made the early adopters, his friends and families and the people. So this is why every YouTuber is going to jump on board because they know how much money he's made from the actual. So these cards are not NFTs. I hope people don't confuse this. These are cards of an NFT. Let me repeat this again. I think people are getting confused. This is even worse than you think it is. So Gary Vanderchuk came with V Friends. He sold it for I think fifty million dollars. Like the market cap is huge. A lot of people, a lot of people, including Gary. Obviously, Gary Vanderchuk made the most amount of money. And that is kind of you know it's kind of steady. It's not really making money. It's not really gaining money. It's just kind of holding. These are images of NFTs that someone else owns. My understanding of that. Maybe there are new images, maybe there are new things, but if you have the card, that physical card is not an NFT because it's not in your wallet. So it's even removed, it's one step removed. And I, I really, one of the comments is very interesting. Is this just like a test? by fanatics to see how far people will go. And, you know, in this industry, it's, it's very funny. We, we love, we hate uh, scalpers, but we love flippers, right? Even though in my opinion, they do the same thing. This might just be a test to how much money can you grab and for how little effort. So no, nobody's questioning the artwork is terrible here. In MetaZoo, I get a lot of pushback. People think I'm criticizing the artists. They're thinking, oh, blah, blah, the art. You know, I love the art. The art's so smart and smart. I own an art studio. Like the art in our NFTs, if you ever check it out, it takes the artist 12 to 16 hours to do. These little scribbles that Gary Vee has come out, I mean, I could have my artist make 5,000 of them by the end of the day. <laughs> I mean, she, she could hold, you know, four pencils at the same time and just start scribbling and you know mass produce them. They're not very good. So like I get like art is subjective, but I think there's some point where we just all say, okay, this is not good art. Or the, this person has not actually tried really hard to do this piece of drawing. And that's what's so offensive and, and the price tag, the price tag of over $2,000 for a box of eight of these cards that is just ridiculous. Like you have to understand, like people are not that stupid. Like th there is a point in time where you ruined a hobby by manipulating and hyping and all this stuff. Am I, do I think fanatics will do a great job? Yeah, I think it will do a great job. I think this is kind of not the best item, but do you, will every YouTuber go online and worship the Gary Vanderchuk, the Gary V friends. Yeah, they will because there's money in it. It's always for these YouTubers. It's always about money. 
when Jeff made his NFT project, what was he hoping to do? He was hoping to make money from box opening. And you know, and that's a crazy idea because you don't even own the card. Why would you buy the NFT? You can just buy the card. So if you love the box opening, then, you know, I mean, box breakers are not particularly liked, even if they have lots of subscribers, it's the card that they open that's really cool. So instead of buying the card, we're gonna buy the video of somebody else opening the card for someone else. And uh, I, I remember in that video, he was talking about, hey, it's okay to fail. And in his analogy of failing, he said, hey, if I give you, you get $50,000, you fail. It's okay, just pick up another $50,000, fail. And he said, like, if you failed three, four times for $50,000, then you then all it takes is one time to really make it. Like, who the hell has $50,000 to fail four times? What type of investor would invest in someone who failed four times for $50,000? And, like, would you have the money? Like, I mean, it's pretty depressing to fail the first time. So, okay, you save your money for one year of work, you work really hard, savings, and then you run it, you do a company, and that project fails. So then what you're gonna do is instead of working your regular job, you're gonna do that and then save money, live very, very frugally, and then fail again. And then you're gonna fail again. So some of this advice is just bad. Like I run my own company too, and you know, I'm not trying to get you, I actually tell you not to buy stuff from me, because I, I just collect. I don't sell anything. Like tell me, so somebody in the comments, like. Have you ever bought anything from me in the past two years? And the answer is no. Uh, my whole business model is buying. I mean, unless it's like a close friend and they don't even use YouTube, they're just whales. Um, my whole model is I sell to my friends and it's a very close knit group. I don't sell publicly or I very rarely sell publicly because my store hours are an email chain. It's not even like regular store hours. It's just whenever I feel like coming in. So. I don't know, this is kind of an embarrassment to the community. It should be taken as an embarrassment. And I hope the community just takes a stand because if they don't, guess what they're gonna get in the future? They're gonna get even more squiggles. Cause hey, this sold out. What, if Fanatic's like, wow, look how popular this is. Every YouTube channel is saying that they love it. Guess what you're gonna get? <laughs> you're gonna get a second edition of these squibbles. <laughs> Bye guys.